Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Gold United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is January 13th, 2022, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is Spiritual Nutrition. The scripture is from Deuteronomy chapter 6 verses 1 through 9. Now this is the commandment, the statutes, and the ordinances that the Lord your God charged me to teach you to observe in the land that you are about to cross into and occupy, so that you and your children and your children's children may fear the Lord your God all the days of your life and keep all his decrees and his commandments that I am commanding you so that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe them diligently so that it may go well with you and so that you may multiply greatly in a land flowing with milk and honey, as the Lord, the God of your ancestors, has promised you. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your might. Keep these words that I am commanding you today in your heart. Recite them to your children and talk about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Bind them as a sign on your hand. Fix them as an emblem, emblem on your forehead and write them on the doorposts of your house and on their gates. Amen. Another scripture is from Proverbs chapter 22, 6. Start children off on the way they should go, and even when they are old, they will not turn from it. Amen. Today's story is from Nita, who lives in India. When I was about seven years old, my mother became bedridden with uh, tuberculosis, making it impossible for her to take care of my two brothers and me. But still, she invested in our spiritual growth, although she had to rely on others to provide us with physical nutrition. She made sure we received spiritual nutrition. She would write down the Lord's Prayer, the Ten Commandments, and Psalm 23 for us to learn. She would give us Bible verses to memorize every day, and I still remember her face beaming with joy when we spoke those verses aloud for her. She passed on her habit of reading the, the upper room devotional every day. And it was through her through her that we grew, grew in faith. My mother's commitment to our spiritual growth became one of her most important legacies. After she died, we held on to our faith and grow, grow into an even stronger relationship with God. This close, closeness to God has helped us through times of grief and others, other challenges of life. Even though our mother was with us for only a short period of time, I am grateful that she taught us how to praise and serve God. Just as my mother encouraged us in our faith, 
we can be mentors to others as we grow in faith. Yes. If you are a parent, parent, or if you are a parent, you know that how much you would like to give your children the best things. What would you like to give? For me, I'd like to give them many things. Not only food, but also the faith. Faith in God. Like Nita's mother, I'd like to give them the faith in God because it is, it changed everything in my life. It is very important to feed them with food, close them, and provide the space to sleep and do their life. But it is also important that to give them the legacy of faith, the faith in God, because it gives them the direction of their life. It gives them a lot of things in their lives. God's hope, peace, grace, love, compassion, justice, and all other things are in God and from God. If I can give God to them, they have everything, I believe. Church family, it is not only for our kids. It is only for the kids in Sunday school or youth group in the church. It is for us. As we discipline our children to grow in Christ, giving them the stories of the Bible, teaching them with the lessons from the Bible. Let them know how to sing, how to praise God. It is also important for us to discipline ourselves to grow in Christ because we are to learn from God to follow God's way and to see God's glory through our disciplines. The Holy Spirit is with us and lead us every time, every moment giving us God's words. Let us have the insights from God so that God leads us on God's ways. The problem is how much we discipline ourselves. It would be not easy, like doing exercise every day. It would be not easy to do better things and good things every day. However, it is right thing. As we know. So I hope you and I discipline ourselves to grow in Christ and discipline our families and friends, try to help them to be disciplined by God's words and the Spirit. We need food for our food, our body, but we also need spiritual food for our spirituality, our souls, and our life, which the world cannot give us. People like to find hope and peace from something else. But we know that the ultimate hope and peace are in Christ, Jesus, in God. So let us have faith in God and let us discipline ourselves and let us nourish our spirit through God's words, praisings, and all means of grace in Christ, in God. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you for the gifts, gift of those who love and care for us physically and spiritually. Lord, we should be disciplined. Sometimes we refuse or reject it, but still we know that we need that. 
Please lead us into the way of your life, your teaching, your grace, through the Holy Spirit. Let us follow you and let us follow the direction through worship, Bible study, prayers, devotionals, mission work, helping others. Let us be close to you and be disciplined by your Spirit. Please use us and help us and let us be the church community to help and serve others to be disciplined by your word, your will, and desire. Please help us and lead us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and don't forget, we need to discipline ourselves and our families and friends. Bye-bye.